Hi everybody, Cedric here. Today I want to talk about a frustration that I think many of you have experienced. I sure have. Why is speaking English so difficult? Have you already subscribed to our channel? If not, take the time to click on the red subscribe button now. Be sure to turn on your notifications so that you'll be the first to know about any video we publish. I know what you're thinking. You're speaking perfect English right now. Well, that doesn't mean that I've never been challenged or felt like giving up. There are a few factors working against us, non-native speakers, but don't let that discourage you. I'm here to reveal some of the biggest reasons why people struggle to speak English and give you some tips on how to overcome them. First up, one external factor, your school system. The way the education systems is set up in most countries isn't very conducive to language learning in general. Large class sizes, education requirements, standardized tests, and limited class times makes it difficult for teacher to focus on speaking with the students. Which means that even if you studied English at school, you probably had little practice speaking the language. There isn't much you can do about your background in English, but you can take control of your future. Next, speaking usually requires to combine multiple skills. What I mean by this is generally we don't just speak to ourselves. Although this can be a great way to practice, we speak with another person. So in order to speak, we need to be able to listen to and understand what the other person is saying. Then we need to have the vocabulary come up with an appropriate response. You also need to have the correct pronunciation to be understood. It can be really helpful to practice with the native English-speaking conversation partner who is roughly at the same level in your native language. Since they will understand your struggles, they will likely be more patient with you. It also helps to prepare as much as possible before a conversation. If you know the topic, you can work on identifying and using subject-specific vocabulary. If you don't know the topic ahead of time, at least practice a few emergency phrases to use if you don't understand or need the speaker to slow down. Another reason why a lot of people find English speaking to be difficult is because of the pronunciation aspect. Depending on your native language, you may not have ever produced some of the sounds that exist in English. And even worse, you might not even know your pronunciation is wrong because your ear isn't trained to hear the subtle difference between your pronunciation and the correct one. To overcome this challenge, I suggest focusing on a few of the most commonly mispronounced sounds of English like the TH sound. Getting really good at these tricky sounds will not only boost your confidence, but will also help you sound more fluent than you actually are. And finally, speaking English is hard because you tell yourself it is. So much of speaking a foreign language is in your head. If you have a negative attitude about it, you won't get very far. Envision a version of yourself that speaks fluent English. Imagine how confident you are and how many exciting opportunities you have available to you because of your skills. Now, get to work to make that vision a reality. Now that you know some of the reason behind why English can be difficult for people who are trying to learn the language, you'll be much better prepared to kick those obstacles in the butt. And if you want to focus on improving every aspect of your spoken English, including your confidence, in a way that is both structured and flexible, fun and productive, our masterclass Speak English with Confidence is a great option. Check the link below for more details. Once again, subscribe to our channel for more language learning videos and consider sharing this video with a friend who is experiencing the same frustration with English that you are. See you next time.